welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the what's in my hospital bag video. I unfortunately didn't get to, to do it before I actually went into labor, but I actually feel like it's better that I'm doing it now, now that I already had my baby, so I can go ahead and share with you guys what I actually ended up using and the things I actually recommend to you guys um, to go ahead and pack because I already went through it literally a month ago. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see, I do got my big old luggage. Yes, this is what I took. Um, this is just what was more convenient for me. So quickly before I start, definitely the one thing I can recommend to you guys is pack what you think you will need, what you feel that you need. Don't let anybody tell you you overpack or anything like that. We all overpack, trust me. These are just the things that I found essential for myself, especially after having a C-section, a repeat C-section. These are just the things that helped me. Now, of course, add what you want. Again, whatever you feel you personally need, pack it, okay? Who cares what anybody's gonna tell you because at the end of the day, you might need it and you're gonna regret not packing it. So I do wanna go ahead and tell you guys that don't let anybody tell you don't pack that just pack what you want so i'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys the things that i found helpful and some of the things that i actually wish i did have so yes i did go ahead and i packed it all in this suitcase um you can totally just pack your stuff in an overnighter bag but again this is just what was more convenient for me so i'm gonna go ahead zip this baby unopened because we are doing this raw okay so i'm actually just gonna go ahead and start off with the stuff for the baby because honestly you really don't need to pack anything major for the baby i mean honestly you really don't need to pack anything for yourself other than like clothes because the hospital literally has everything from pads to toiletries to chapstick to anything at least my hospital did wherever i did deliver they did have everything and they provided it for me even though i didn't ask um, so yeah, but for baby, honestly, all we packed was, well, we didn't pack it because I did have a, um, early delivery. She was born at 35 weeks, so we kind of picked her up, like, later on, but still, if we would have had her full term, then this is exactly what I would have packed because they have diapers, they have wipes, they have diaper cream, and they give it all to you, including formula. They literally give you everything for the baby. Again, the only thing you're going to need is a coming home outfit so I did go ahead and just this was her little coming home outfit whenever we did the night stay but if you are having a normal full term labor um, definitely pack your baby whatever outfit picture outfits um, I would actually recommend maybe packing two outfits just because you are going to be there maybe more than two days I was there for a whole week and then um, Mila was actually in the NICU so we actually only got to pack one taking home outfit so um, but again if you are having a normal delivery pack two um, since you are going to be there a while. And then a blanket. This we just used to cover her car seat. So these were the only two main things that we needed for her. Everything else was provided by the hospital. So by the way, I am in a nursery. And no, this is a glimpse of it. You guys are still going to get a tour of her nursery. But for right now, this is just the only glimpse you're going to get. Which you guys have seen at crib. Anyways, so the first thing is toiletries um, again they do provide whatever toiletries that you may need um, but it's always nice to go ahead and pack your own stuff especially if since you are in that such a hectic but blessing situation um, definitely go ahead and just pack stuff that's going to go ahead and make you comfortable this is actually what I had packed whenever we went to North Carolina I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything in here so whenever we travel it's good to go and I can just go ahead and grab it and go so the first thing I have in here are pads again the hospital does provide pads for you I actually did end up buying Depends and I didn't use them just because I don't know I just didn't want to use depends i feel like the way the underwear was it was gonna rub on my c-section but that's just like me in my head um but i actually just ended up um using the pads that they have and then i actually got these are the lola heavy flow 
um, pads. These are actually all natural pads. Now, if you are having like a vaginal birth or if you ha are having more of a heavy bleeding, then you definitely want to go ahead and get yourself a bigger pad. I didn't really have heavy bleeding this time. I remember with my first C-section, I actually did. Um, but this time I didn't have like a lot of bleeding. So these were good for me. Also, I did want to recommend some mesh underwear. It's the Freedom Mom Disposable High Waisted C-section postpartum underwear I'll leave a picture right here girl those things are the best underwear to wear when you have a c-section because it's so smooth and they're nice and tight um, not too tight to where it hurts but again like the depends I feel like the material is gonna go ahead and rub on my c-section if you've ever had a c-section you'll know what I'm talking about but those freedom mama c-section underwear are the best things because they're smooth and they're high-waisted and you can go ahead and put your own pad in there and change it out as you want and then you can go ahead and toss them when you're done those things were hands down my favorite thing out of the whole thing they made my c-section recovery so amazing I did end up packing underwear but I did not use them because I just used the freedom mama ones and then I also used the mesh underwear that they do provide at the hospital I don't mind the mesh underwear they're okay and they don't rub on your c-section either um, but once I tried the freedom mama ones I was like I'm done I don't want to put any kind of underwear or anything else on it's just just trust me if you have a c-section get those and you're not you won't regret it um, and again you get to put your own pad in there and then of course my toothbrush bobby pins make sure you have bobby pins and hair ties because you just never know got my body soap in here deodorant and just all of this stuff that you need as far as toiletries again just pack what you think you need if you do forget something again the hospital will provide it for you so definitely pack your little toiletry bag now this is an optional thing you can go ahead and pack makeup if you're up to doing your makeup i didn't pack any makeup because i didn't know i was going to be in the hospital but I didn't know I was going to get admitted to the hospital because I did go to the emergency room. If you guys want to hear all that, I will link my labor and delivery story down below so you guys can get caught up. But moral of the story, I didn't know I was going to be admitted, so I didn't pack makeup. But I wasn't going to pack makeup anyways because honestly, the last thing on my mind was to go ahead and put makeup on. And honestly, when you're dealing with a baby, at least me, I don't want to put like my face and makeup on them, especially when they're little newborn. Now, if you want to take it, do you, whatever you want, but for me personally, I don't want to wear it. And of course, a hairbrush because, girl, my hair was knotted because I had it up in a bun the whole time because I was so hot that I needed a comb. So definitely a comb. And speaking of being so hot, something I wish that I did pack that I didn't was a fan because I was so hot. I don't know what it was, maybe because it was just my hormones and throughout my whole pregnancy I was very hot. I really did wish I packed my fan. Um, they do have some that you can go ahead and clip to your bed, but this is just the one that I have right now. But yeah, highly recommend packing a fan. I know it sounds excessive, but girl, I was very, 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 very hot. The nurse actually walked in and she was like, are you guys cold? I was like, no, I'm like very, very hot because I had the thermostat like low so something I wish I would have packed is this for sure and then you're also going to want to pack something that you're going to go ahead and be able to entertain yourself with again we were in the hospital for a whole entire week so we definitely got a lot of use out of phase 10 this was the thing that we did literally all day and all night when we couldn't sleep at least when I couldn't sleep my husband was awesome enough to stay up with me um, so we did go ahead and play a lot of phase 10 as you guys can see see it is very very loved take your laptop anything to entertain yourself um ours was phase 10 because you never know how long you're going to be in the hospital how long your labor is going to be or how long your stay is going to be so this was definitely a lifesaver for me and then i also took my glasses if you do wear glasses i recommend taking glasses instead of contacts but go ahead again do you but i did take my um, glasses and then as far as like postpartum wear honestly I just took 
big t-shirts like these. These are super, super comfortable, especially because I don't want to be all tight and like squished and stuff. So um, these were definitely what I wore. And then also it was my coming home outfit or part of my coming home outfit. But you do end up having a normal delivery where you can actually stay in with your baby because again, my baby was in the NICU, so she didn't stay in our room. But if you are gonna go ahead and do that or you do get the chance to do that and you have a full term um, labor then I would suggest you get some of these shirts these are super super cheap from Walmart they are like four bucks just basic little camis these are super super comfortable and soft and they might be a little tight but they're not uncomfortable and also these are very very um, breastfeeding appropriate because they are super super stretchy and they aren't super expensive so again so if you are gonna um, room with your baby if you do get the chance to room with your baby then this is something I recommend because these could be a little hard to breastfeed actually they are very hard to breastfeed because I actually had to pump a lot of milk while baby was in the NICU and these were hard so I recommend these these were just um, easier if you are going to go ahead down the route of breastfeeding and so on and so forth so those two things I recommend just loose shirts and something that's going to be easy for you to go ahead and breastfeed um, also you can take your pump but my hospital actually provided me with one because I actually still hadn't gotten one because again I did go into labor at 35 weeks now two other things I highly recommend for you guys after a c-section or just in general because I know you still want to go ahead and wear loose clothes when you do deliver vaginally but these biker shorts from Walmart were freaking amazing as well they felt so good on not too tight or anything I did go ahead and take two I definitely had to go ahead and pack shorts I know a lot of people do pack pants which I do pack I did pack pants that I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys um, if you guys do want to go down that route. But again, I was so hot that I just had to pack shorts and these were long enough. They weren't short hoochie or anything like that. So these were very, very comfortable throughout my recovery. Um, even when I got home, I was still wearing these. I would like wash them religiously because they were just a lifesaver. They're super, super soft and comfortable. And again, they didn't rub on my C-section or anything. So I promise you guys, if you get those Freedom Mama disposable underwear and you wear these, you're going to be so comfortable. But if you do want to go more so in the pant route, which I did pack because I thought I was going to be cold, I actually got these sweatpants. They are super, super comfortable. Um, I actually got these at American Eagle. They are so freaking soft and comfortable, like you can see them, and they stretch very nicely. So again, these are going to be very, very comfortable around your incision, or again, if you do have a vaginal birth. So these are two options you can go ahead and choose whether you want to wear pants or you want to go ahead and wear shorts, which again, I actually wore shorts to go ahead and go home just because they were so comfortable. And then another clothing piece and the last clothing piece that I actually recommend is a sweater because it can get cold although I was hot whenever we would walk to the NICU it was actually pretty cold the NICU was actually cold believe it or not so um, I did go ahead and I packed a sweater I actually packed all of the things that I didn't mind getting dirty or anything like that especially with a baby you don't want to worry about that so I did pack that stuff now on the zipper side which you can't you guys can't even see I actually also do recommend you guys pack some nursing bras obviously you want to go ahead and pack something that's going to be accessible and comfortable even if you're not breastfeeding I feel like maternity or breastfeeding um Bras are just overall more comfortable for your boobs, especially when your milk starts coming in. And then also some big fussy socks because um, if you don't have sandals like myself, I totally forgot to pack sandals. Again, I was kind of in a rush to go ahead and take a shower. I actually had to wear my husband's sandals um, in the shower because I forgot to pack mine. But also you want to go ahead and pack some socks so you can walk around the... Um, hospital and so on and so forth so I actually did pack those and then another thing I do recommend is packing a pillow for yourself and your spouse because the pillows there suck they're super super thin at least at my hospital so um 
And when my husband took the pillows, these were definitely a heaven sent because my back was hurting and as soon as he brought these, they were amazing. And then last but not least, if you are, again, having your baby stay with you, you don't have any complications where your baby has to go ahead and go to the NICU, I highly recommend taking your boppy pillow if you are going to go ahead and breastfeed or bottle feed, especially if you have a C-section, because this fits perfectly around your waist and you can go ahead and sit baby comfortably on you. You don't have to like bend down or anything. You can use a pillow, but me personally, I just find that this is just the perfect size and everything obviously it's meant for it I just feel like this was more comfortable than a normal pillow um, to go ahead and feed Mila even when I was still home recovering and she got to go ahead and come home so I highly recommend this for all my c-section mamas and all my mamas in general just because it was just so much easier to feed her um, and it was just so much easier on my body as well so those are literally oh wait no one more thing do not forget your chargers your phones and then also do not forget snacks snacks are very 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 important when you are at the hospital going in labor especially for your spouse and if you are craving any little things go ahead and get those cravings in so definitely pack some snacks don't forget your charger and your phone and then of course your camera so those are all of the things that I found that I used literally throughout my whole week stay um, I mean I was bedridden most of the time so those two outfits were enough for me because we were only there recovering for two days after I did have my c-section and I was able to go home so again pack for yourself pack for whatever you think you your spouse and baby might need um, these are just the things again that I found um, I used and were more helpful for me myself in my situation so that is all that I did go ahead and take and used and I recommend to you guys or to go ahead and give you guys some ideas of what to go ahead and pack in your hospital bag so I really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys are new don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe on the bell so you guys are notified every time I do upload a video and with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye everyone